Biota means a balance of animal and plant life of a region. This restaurant can't exist without the elements in the region that it feeds from. I wanted a, a restaurant where people had to give themselves a reason to want to go there. And I needed to give them a reason. We are the connection between Mother Nature and the diner. I chose Barrel because I grew up here and I know where and when the fish are in the streams and I know when the blackberries are coming out and I know how long they'll be in flower until the fruit forms. You know, the community here is very focused on, on good food and they're very savvy about good food, which is great because that helps us grow. Once you start to connect with people and once you start to almost prove yourself to them, you start getting all these suppliers and all these growers bringing things into the kitchen you know, one lady brings 20 kilos of limes from her backyard every week. They're stunning. You don't need to roll them on the bench because they're hard. They're just perfect. And now we have maybe 10 or 15 supplies like that. You can't buy that at a market. You can't buy it anywhere. You can't buy it at a fruit shop. That's the one thing you don't think about when you open a restaurant. You need to think about the time it's going to take for people to accept you and what you need to do in order for them to accept you and trust you and know that you're not going anywhere and you're there for them and you mean well. And that doesn't have money attached to it, it doesn't have anything else attached to it other than trust. We took over this building, it was an abandoned home. There was no ceilings, there was no floors. It was a shell. Uh, my dad and I said to each other, if we're going to do this in this space, we need to do it ourselves. We can't afford to put you know, architects and, and designers on board. There was no garden, there was no terrace lawn, there was no irrigation, there was nothing. Every single day I would start here at 7am and I would labour here and I did it for just over a year with no money in the hope that when I opened the doors we would get an influx of people and nobody came. So then we just started cooking and we started telling ourselves what the real reasons we're here for and just keep pushing and keep getting it right and getting it right and keep trying to tell our story even if it's just for one customer. And it just took a corner. People started to listen. For me that was a big turning point when I started to know that people were listening with more than just their mouth and their stomach. They were listening with their heart and that makes us want to give them more. And that's what this food needs to do. A young business has a lot of obstacles to overcome and sometimes all at once. As a business owner, your staff and your suppliers have to come first. We need to be a little community of our own in here that believes in a very holistic and a very honest approach in terms of food and wine. That to me is the real essence of cooking because it's just all about an ingredient and people. No matter how big you get, or no matter what comes your way, always maintain integrity and honesty out of that kitchen and on this floor and maintain a natural approach. For us, that's what it's about now because now they're coming, now they're here, we just need to give them something very special. <laughs>